You only have to look at the schedule at your local cinema to figure out that superheroes are more popular now than ever. Almost every month another blockbuster movie comes out and breaks yet another box office record. People love the idea of having superpowers, whether it's flying through the air or battling baddies with super strength. One superpower that is helpful to many of these heroes is X-ray vision. It gives them the ability to see through walls and catch villains before they have a chance to launch their evil plans. And I think part of the appeal of superheroes is the idea that they can conceal their powers and live as ordinary people among us. One could be near us right now, hiding their true identity behind a set of normal clothes or a job at a local newspaper. All a superhero has to do to transform out of their secret identity is put on a tight costume and run around in a cape. But things get a little more complicated when it comes to revealing who we really are. We almost need superpowers just to wade through the different messages, opinions, and voices that compete to tell us what our true identity is. But imagine if we could actually put on a special pair of x-ray vision goggles and then looked in the mirror. We would look beyond our outside appearance and see who we are on the inside. After all, it's not the costume that makes a hero great, it's the gifts, powers, and talents they have on the inside that makes them special. While we may never get superpowers in real life, we can learn how to unmask who we really are. What if each of us has a true identity that is worth revealing to the world? Most things are what they are. Most everything is what it is. A piece of paper is a piece of paper. A stapler is a stapler. A keyboard is a keyboard. A power cord is a power cord. No matter how complex an object, it is just the subject you would suspect it to be. And this idea usually works perfectly. Whether you're dealing with a computer or a throwing dart, most things are simply a sum of their parts. They are what they are. <laughs> but you and I are not like most things. For we can't be identified based solely on what you can see. You can't just take me apart, remove my limbs and my heart, and suddenly understand all there is to know about me. For while most things are what they are, there is a part of us that can't be seen. And that part of us is who we truly are. That part of us is known as our identity. For your identity is not your fingerprints or a number. It's not the style of your clothes or your hair's cut or color. You are not just the sports you play, the job you work, the amount you're paid, for you are worth more than what you're made of. You are not just a thing or an object that can be defined by what can be seen on the outside, for your true and secret identity is not what can be seen but what's on the inside. 